Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to integrate Camcord into your Cocos 2D game in just a few minutes with a few lines of code. Let's get started. We're going to start on the Camcord.com homepage, where you should enter your email to get a free developer key in secret. I've already done that, and I have that available right here, so we're going to use that in a moment. After that, it'll bring you to the download page, and you'll want to click on Cocos 2D. When you do that, it brings you to the repo on GitHub where you can download the files. And the, the link you'll want to click is this one. This will download all the camcorder files for you. Uh, I've already done that here, and I have the zip file ready on my desktop. So we're going to open Xcode into a fresh build of a uh, render texture test um, from, uh, from the uh, website. And basically, um, in order to integrate camcorder into here, I have to first drag camcorder into this extra product and add it as a, as a uh, build dependency. So I'm going to unzip the camcorder framework and drag the dot embedder framework folder into Xcode. When I do, I'm going to check render te texture tests, which is our target app. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that that app is going to link against camcorder. And it's also going to add the resources, as you've just seen. Uh, as part of the app, these four resources. Um, in order to, in, to use Camcord, uh, which has now been added as a link target, we're going to need a few more, few more um, frameworks, and those are these listed over here. They're also available uh, listed in the installation guide online. So if you go to the installation link, that will bring you here, and you'll see which frameworks you need to run Camcord in totality. Um, a few of these do have to be marked as optional so that they'll run in iOS 5. And you can see that I've done that already down here with these four frameworks. So now that Camcord is ready to build into your application, we can verify that's true. Um, we are going to add it to uh, the actual code. So we basically have to do three things. One, we have to import Camcord. Two, we have to uh, initialize Camcord with a developer key secret and a pattern view controller. And three, we have to add the lines of code to Camcord to start recording, stop recording, and show the Camcord UI. So I've already done most of that here. Um, first, I've added the import for Camcord, as you can see. I've also uh, added the call in the applica your application that did finish launching to set the Camcord developer key in secret which I got uh, copy and pasted from here. You'll see these, these are the same. And uh, I've set the application name, Camcore Demo, and I've set the parent view controller, which in the case for Cocos is the shared director. So now that we have that, all we have to do is add the lines to Camcore start and stop recording. So this app has basically some button items and I've added an extra menu item. So I, I have these three menu items for start recording, stop recording, show view. And all they do is call these wrapper methods, start recording, stop recording, show view, which are defined down here. And these are simple wrapper methods around the corresponding camcorder method to start, stop recording, and show the UI. So now that we have that, we should be able to run this on the simulator and see what we get. So we have this app here. If I hit start recording, I can start drawing some things. If I hit stop and then show view, I should have a video recording of what I just did, which you can see right here. And everything else you can share, watch other videos, and all that. That's all. Thanks for watching.